Please do it. That was a great Please shot. Do it. What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm out here in East Brookfield, Massachusetts at the course that Casey White and myself have designed over the past handful of months. Three baskets are on the ground, 15 more to come, and we actually have a tea pad here already on hole one. And welcome to the course. I'm mind blown that it's just happening. The baskets are here and they're working on this every day now. Summer's coming and I think we might have a course opening this summer. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we're hoping, I'm hoping for August 1st, uh, if not a little bit before that, but taking our time, doing it right, and just so excited. There I go. Hell yeah. <laughs> and here we go, hole one is a short-ish par four. Beautiful tree line on the left, early trees on the right. Kind of a forest flex line, roller chance. But as I learned from John Houck, a nice welcoming par four to start a course is a good choice. So that's what I did. That's what we did. And I'm gonna try to get a little eagle putt here. Go. Full send, let's go. All right, I ended up here about 130 short. Short right. Give this one a couple of runs, why not? Let the pixel glide. What? Welcome to Mile Marker 63. Why so much luck? I think it wasn't luck. Oh! That's... What a start. Welcome. All right, just trying to give you a little sneak peek here of the new course, because three baskets are in, and this is the next one that's in, this is hole seven. After two holes in the woods, this is not like any other golf course. We're playing in the woods. Back out, par four, and it's a sick little turnover shot, like almost hyzer flip, late turn. Very demanding shot to get in position to get a birdie. But I think again, since I want this to be like a, not beginner friendly, but, you know, your average disc golfer friendly. Gotta go. Go. Oh. <laughs> that looks so good. That's it. Made the mando. There's probably gonna be a mando there, not sure yet. But I'm still far from the basket. So I just made the mando, hit the second tree though. And now I have like a low ceiling, kind of tricky little flex shot. I'm gonna try the pyro. Give it a little turn, hope it comes back. Oh, sheesh. I think I parked it. <laughs> Man, this is such a beautiful place. This is gonna be so much fun. Five feet. I just wanna show off this green real quick. Huge pine trees, like a perfect half circle. Baskets right in the middle. I love these yellow black hole portals too. All right, welcome to hole 17, the final hole where the basket's already in. One of my favorite holes on the course. Cool little gap shot, low ceiling off the tee, and then up the hill with a cool backdrop. We need to plant some flowers back there, something to make it extra scenic. But it looks beautiful, looks aceable, 350 feet. And I present to you a special drop coming soon. My 2024 Tour Series disc is actually gonna be the Proton Tesla. One of my favorite discs, obviously, ever since I made the big switch. And you've seen me throw it all over the place. I was missing backups, so I thought, I'll just create the backup for me. <laughs> and first of all, shout out to Grip. Check out the sweet new travel edition grip bags there are. Just absolutely sick, perfect for ice runs. And here it is. Oh my God. We got the Hummingbird, Tesla. Shout out to the artist, shout out to MVP, and shout out to the Tesla. One of my favorite molds of all time. We got all colors, all weights, and uh, Gotta love it. If you don't, if you wonder why Hummingbird, 
Remember this clip. Hummingbird. Hummingbird. My spirit animal is the hummingbird nowadays. Okay, we're gonna try and ace this now. Come on. All right, this is actually my very first shot with this new run of Teslas. So let's see how it flies. No clue what's gonna happen here, except for kind of an idea. Hey, that flew extremely promising. This one. You can dart red on red. Okay, a bit better line. First park job. Parked it. Get there. Get there. CTP. Oh yeah. That's it. That's in. Dude. Uh, oh, actually? Actually? Oh my goodness. Drop. Oh, that had to be close. Oh, that was it. Where did that miss? Dude, how are these phasing through the back? Dude, that looks so... Please do it. Please do it. Please do it. Pickler. The chains are shaking, right? Yeah, chain to 100% hit chains. All right, last chance. I'm really enjoying their flight, but uh, they're not going in right now, which is annoying. But you can check these out. I think they'll be for sale probably in a month from now. Dealers can buy them starting today. So thanks for the support. Last chance for a good one. Oh, come back. I think I crushed it, but that line. Oh. All right, that's all. Okay, quick change of scenery, guys. We drove about six minutes over to North Brookfield. I'm here with Ben Kenny. How are we doing? And uh, there's a little nine hole course that I've never played. It's called Town Forest Park in North Brookfield. Town Forest Park? And we have tea pads, which I wasn't expecting. We have water carry, which I wasn't expecting. So far, it's promising. And then we have in the path there, you can see, sneaking behind that bath, that tree is a disc catcher. Um, pretty cool. Let's play nine holes and see what this place is all about. And how long these holes are. And rips one down the middle. Beautiful looking shot. Parked it. Holy cow. Is that the best first shot on the vlog? It's You've not been my first on the shot. vlog. I know. Before. Gotta turn it. Gotta turn it. Oh. Is that a putt? Highlight putt? Like putt. Oof. All over it, man. Been after a great tee shot for Birdie. Oh, all the confidence in I'll the world. That. It's so cool coming into a course with like absolute trash expectations because I don't know why, but I've never heard of this place. Their reviews are so-so. Yeah, 3.3 on YouTube. But we have a nice basket. We had a tee pad. The hole was challenging and kind of cool over water. Like for me, that's like a five out of five for now. Hole two. Honestly, this hole is absolutely amazing. Basket on the boulder up there. Uphill shot. Bend one under through one. Going with the forehand. He's a pretty good disc golfer. He's only been in the game for like three or four years. You've been playing for three years? Four years? Three years in April. Wow. So three years in a month. How close is your shot right now? 25 feet? Nice. <laughs> Hexagon. 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 <laughs> I 
That is a bit fluff, but man, that line. It's up there. These two clips, for some reason, had no audio, so I'm going to dub myself. I don't know what's wrong with my putting. Like what? And Ben just straight in the middle. Good start, two for two. Three, T-pad is slightly declining in quality, but that's okay. Par four, we don't know where the basket is, but it's somewhere that way. Ben two under, absolutely crushing me. But that's also okay. He's just gonna send it. Miss! Oh, the one tree to miss, dude. In the middle, I'll take that. Throwing a 14 speed on the hole where you don't know where you're going. Pro tip. He wants the eagle. Wow, got through. Ooh. It's pretty good. A little early release, but a thought. So I walked up the fairway a little bit just to tell him where the basket was and try to film this right, but it's way down there. This is a legit par four. And it kind of just keeps going straight. I'm trying to film this right. Probably did a terrible job. I'm not sure, but I think that was as good as you could possibly do. Please hold it. That's solid. That's tapping birdie. Yep. A pretty little green. Peaceful, minus that plane. And to go perfect three for three. This man is unstoppable. <laughs> Got a little tap in for birdie. I'm one under your three. So far, I have zero complaints about this course. This is a like wildly unexpected. I was expecting overgrown, just like a pitch and putt, but this is this is beautiful. I mean, a bit overgrown. It's definitely not pitch and putt, <laughs> but with a little bit of care. I don't know who takes care of this place. It's probably just like one guy just doing it in his free time. But this place is freaking sweet so far. What's up with all those ratings? Maybe they're like old and a lot has improved here. This is, like this is another really cool shot. I like that leaner. Go inside of it, go outside of it, Ben. Oh my goodness, drop. Straight at it. Drop. Ben, why aren't you on tour? <laughs> <laughs> is it flippy enough? I don't think it is. Great shot. It's a great shot. Little left side. I want to throw one decent one, okay? Mm -hmm. Kind of new to the bag. I don't know if I've ever introduced this. Entropy. Sick die. Shout out to... I can't read that. She dies her discs? Let me see. Oh, shed? She dies her disc. I think it's a play on words like she dies her disc. She dies her discs. But it's dies her as in hyzer. Ah. She dies her disc. Freaking sick. <laughs> Super overstable uh, putt and approach disc. Not really for putting, I think. Approach disc. Look at that turn and that fade. Not an eighth round, but parked. To go four for four. Absolutely untouchable right now. That's just a tap in. Still two back. I'll catch you, don't worry. I know. The pressure. The pressure, man. Oh, five is kind of a cute little ace run. Oh my goodness. You're blocking it. Did you just park it again? Yeah. Cash, baby. Cash, baby? That's what you're going to say? Uh, that's the disc, Cash. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My arm's too tired to throw, so I need to go mid. It's probably only like 220, maybe 200. Pyro. Why so high? It's parked. This course is fun. It's very fun. So fun. Ben makes this, I'll sign him up for a tour card exemption. Good bed. She gets it. I think the next hole's an ace run. Uh, that's just too easy. Ah. 
basic hole, but still fun. Yeah. I mean, it's straightforward, 200 footer, but beautiful. Oh, he's just ripping shots. Just ripping them. Good enough? It's good enough. To get back on the train and not lose a stroke on me. Good hit. I am. Where's my disc? Right there. Basically parked. Uh, That's parked, man. Pressure's on. Pressure's definitely on. This T pad's footwork is a challenge in itself. Been going forehand. It's not great. The basket's up there. It's a butt. You have All a butt? I, I guess. From 40 feet to keep the lead. And you believe in love as a love. <laughs> what? Okay. Two holes to go. Still no bad hole. Ah, uh, I kind of love this place. So the only complaint I would have is that I could basically play this course with one disc. Except for the part four maybe. It's all pretty much straight shots. Maybe some slight left to right, right to left, but I mean, what are you gonna do? Another hex. This one's a bit longer, like 280. Right. Oh no, that's a tester. Highlight. Bad timing. He parks this. That might seal the deal for him. Right side, can't see the disc. They're coming back. Got a, look, got, got a lucky little tree kick back to the basket. This is a must make. You're like 20 feet? Yep. I'm like 45. I'm so tired. Then to punish me into the ground. You've missed one hole, right? Yes. Hole five, I believe. Wow. Good round. Hole nine. Looks like the longest par three. Way down there. Fairway driver time. Ben with a two stroke lead. Looks a little right side. That's missable. Okay. Here's the ace. It's ace time. All right, we're going 11 speed at it. Vanish, because I don't know what else to do. That's looking so good. Swing back hard. Is that under the pin? I think it's way deep. Oh. <laughs> Bye. Two. This is unbelievable, folks. Ben Kenny, ladies and gentlemen. Intern Ben. You know him from podcasts. You know him from my camera guy. He's a good disc golfer. Who knew? So, what the heck is going on? I'm gonna trick my. I'm gonna try to make my pot just in honors of the round. I'm exhausted. I threw a lot of ace runs earlier with the new Tesla. But you beat me by three, Ben. Congratulations. Thank you. We have the scorecards right here. Fun little track. It's called? That's awesome. Town Forest Park in East Brookfield. North Brookfield. Oh, North Brookfield. Town Forest Park. Fun track. Free to play. Needs a bit of upkeep, but other than that, that was a lot of I'd give this four to five. Easily. Yeah. For what it is, easily. Easily. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Check out the new Proton Teslas when they come out. Check out everything Ben has going on. Shout out to everyone. I can't wait for things to come. A couple more weeks and I'm already back on tour. Pretty wild. Wait, I got one thing. There's going to be a disc golf expo in the Northeast and in Dallas next year, March 1st and 2nd, 2025. The Dallas Disc Golf Expo. And then January... 25th and 26th is the Northeast Disc Golf Expo. Shameless plug. That's how we like it. Enjoy the shot of the day. Like and subscribe as always. And I hope you like this hat. Available soon. Peace.